Afternoon everyone. Today is Sunday the 14th of July 2024 and this is Floss Tube number 20. I'm Lindsay, Cheshire Stitcher, both here on Floss Tube and over on Instagram. Welcome to my channel. Mostly it's about cross stitch but I will share other things, other things, other crafts. Nine times out of ten that's going to be my bead weaving which I do have some of that for you today. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. It's lovely to see you again. And if you are a new viewer, welcome to you. It's great to have you here. And if you haven't done so already, I would very much appreciate it if you could like this video and any others that you may have watched of mine. And if you could subscribe. I'd like to get my subscription numbers up a little bit. I've kind of stalled now. Once I did my 500 giveaway, they, they went up a little bit afterwards, but they've stalled now. So I'm kind of hoping that by my first anniversary, which is late September, I don't have the date to hand. I have got it written down. Um, I can have 750. That would be lovely. But regardless, there will be a giveaway for a one year anniversary even though it's a couple of months off yet and on the subject of subscribers I'd like to say a big thank you to Stitchy Sally who gave me an, a lovely shout out I've known Sally online for maybe 15 years maybe more I don't know we've uh, always interacted she in her last floss shoe gave me a shout out as I said as a member of the under a thousand sub subs club so thank you sally it was very very much appreciated and you should go watch her if you haven't done so already she has some beautiful projects she really does one of which she's she's trying to get me to start because i've got a chart but i have i might do i haven't decided yet anyway that's the end of that that's the admin bit out of the way so today, as ever, I've got my notes down here, which is why I'm looking down. I have got some beading, as I said. I've got an FFO. I've got a SAF. I still don't know if that's an acronym or not. I'll have to have a bit of a poke around and find out. A start and a finish. It's not FFO'd, but it's a start and a finish. Finished? I tell you, I'm sure I've got someone else's teeth today. I've got uh, my PhDs, which if you are new here, I don't call my projects whips, I call them PhDs, which is potential happy dance, because we all do a happy dance when we finish a project. Whether it's a big jig around the room because it's a big project, or if we just sit there and go, yay. It's a happy dance. I've got some haul, which I will start off with simply because it'll it'll make more sense when I get to a new start. It and it's only it's it's a tiny bit. Well I've got one bit of sort of it's stitching related. It's not stitching but it's stitching related and a little bit of bead haul. So I'm gonna show you that when I do my beading. While it's in my head the next video should be a fortnight today, which is the 28th of July. And it doesn't clash with my partner's long weekend off. That's next weekend. So we're good. Oh, pardon me. So, start off with haul. I used the remains of my birthday money off my partner to buy myself a tablet. You didn't want to see my front door. Well, if I do that, you can see me repeatedly. Um... I've wanted one for a while and every time I've gone into like Cash Generator or CEX in town they haven't had ones that work for me or they've been way out of the budget because I only want it for Pattern Keeper and Dropbox so it had to be above an Android 8 for Dropbox to work and most of the ones they had weren't which you know it's no good if it's not going to work for what i want it for it's got 32 
gigs of memory which for what I literally like I say I want it literally for pattern keeper and Dropbox and that's it so I bought that and then when I came home I ordered myself a lovely case for it so that when I go away on retreat or stitching day excuse me got itchy eye again I can just stand it up and use it and off we go the case did come with a pen but it wasn't very good and I beaded this years ago donkeys years ago so I thought I would use that for it because if I use my index finger too much it hurts because the arthritis Tell you, it's no fun getting old if you can possibly avoid it do so that's that's that bit of haul I'll do my beading next so I a couple of days after my last floss tube I went to Plandidno for the day to visit Threadabead who is a bead that for for probably getting on 20 years they have been an online bead store but they've they've taken the plunge and they've opened a shop in Clandudno. So we went for the day. I mean I love Landudno anyway so whilst I was there I bought myself one of their bags. You can get the pattern for that little dragon. There's various different versions of him but I love the red one. I have got the pattern I just haven't made him yet. So I got myself that. I got myself a whole pile of tubes of beads. But you don't need to see what you know what a boot a, a boot a tube of delicates look like. And I also bought myself this little book of landed no or clanded no. It's just the bead pack. I have got the pattern. It was um, it was a shop exclusive. I think it may now be live on the website, but it was a shop exclusive. So you've got the goats on the front, and then if I remember rightly, there's the pear on the back of it, and then you you make up the pages of the book, which has got all sorts of little bits of information about the town. So that was that will be my next project once I have finished my current one which is this and I've just realised I didn't grab my board so excuse me for a minute there we go this is a 10 point star it's the same on both sides pattern is from Lady Luna Cat who does some fantastic things. I think she's Ukrainian. I've done a few of her things over the years and uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And the lovely thing about her patterns are she gives you the colours that she used for her model and then she will list five or six alternatives that you could use if you don't have the one that she used so like the gold here you know you can it's dotted all the way through it she listed something like I think it was 410 but if you don't have 410 or you don't have enough but you've got enough of 31 or 42 or 1832 or whatever other gold there is you can use that one instead and it's lovely that she gives you alternatives that would work and I have used alternatives in mine I've used an alternative purple which is there you go if I move it out like that it gives you a much better idea of the colour doesn't it I'm sorry if you didn't want to see it that close but there we go it has got lots of flaws in it. I have managed to make some rather major boo-boos, but never mind. And I've not noticed them until I've put it together and I'm like, it's staying. I'm not 
not going to worry about it. So I've got four more sections to go, or rather three and a half because one's half done. Really enjoying it. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to have it as a flat one or whether or not I'm going to open it up a little, a little bit and have it sort of slightly, slightly puffy. I haven't decided as yet. It'll probably end up as a flat one though. Thoroughly enjoying it though. It's in two drop peyote, which is something I haven't done for years. So I had to kind of, I had to Google how to start it because I've not done it in so long I couldn't remember. So yeah, Lady Luna Cat, I'll put a link to her below. She has like some, like I say, some fantastic patterns and she also does some lovely freebies if you are a beater and want to if you've never run across her there we go so oh, no, i hope i don't start with that soul thing again tell you excuse me right let's do my ffo which is this This pattern is Tribal Gecko by Sparklies and I stitched this years ago and I mean years ago and at the time it was going to be a gift for my mum who had done, I can't remember what she'd made but she'd given me a scrap of this fabric. And it got put in a bag with the stitching and misplaced. When I was looking for something a week or two ago, I um, came across it and thought, I'm going to make that up. So the reason he's so close to the edge of the pillow, there's not more of a space around him, is literally... Excuse me is literally that the backing fabric was this wide. There's a little bit, you know, it's only sort of that wide. So I couldn't make him any bigger. He's just got normal stuffing in him. And I'll put a 2024 charm on the back of him. So he now sits on my table beside me. So I can't tell you what fabric I used. I can't tell you what thread I used because he was stitched so long ago. I do remember he was a really quick stitch. You know, it was a couple of evenings to do. And he's, he's, he's a lovely little stitch. So, Tribal Gecko from Sparklers. I think, I think, I could be wrong, but I think it was her first ever design. So, there we go. That's that bit done. And I've dropped it on the floor again. So next up, I'll do my saf, which is this. This is Christmas from Teresa Cogut. Considering it's July and it's raining and it's horrible and it's miserable, it's still very light in this room. So. I'm going to tip things a little so you get a better colour. That's a much better version, um, idea of the colour. I'm not sure what the fabric is. I think it's a piece from a Sparkly's Oops that I, I've had in my stash for a while. I used it for my scissor sampler last, last year before I started Floss Tube. This piece was ideal size. I've used the cord for... DMCs apart from this where it's gold it should have been I think it was 437 and I decided that I wanted to do the stars in DMC Diam Diamante 3821 and then I decided that I might as well just stitch around the sea in the gold as well 
I can't remember if I said or not, it's a Teresa Kogut. It was a freebie at the Jingle Ball last year. Whether or not it's available on her website or anything, I couldn't say. I didn't look, I didn't check. But it was a lovely quick stitch to do. I took it and it took me four or five evenings and I did some of it in the car on the way to Clandidno as well. So there we go. It's the first time I've ever stitched a Teresa Koga. And I think it's turned out really nice. So all I have to do now is finish it. So we'll go on. God, I'm sorry. I'm, I am, I keep saying so. I'm going to try and not do that because it's, it irritates me. I don't know about you, but it certainly irritates me. Oh, there we go. My information on it. I turned a piece of paper over to check something else. Believe it or not, there are 1,119 stitches in that. You wouldn't think it, but there is. And it was my 12th finish of the year. So the reason I showed you my pad was that I, I bought the pad and I've got it all set up. And I thought, I need to celebrate getting a new pad and start something from Pattern Keeper. So I did. I had a look through all my charts and decided I'm not quite ready to, I have a Hade, one, and only one, it's giraffes. And I've got a couple of artisty freebies uh, and I decided that I just wasn't ready for starting something that full coverage because my commissions are full coverage and I just don't want to do another one at the moment. So I had a look through and I had this. I bought this last year again at the Jingle Ball. It was a five part mystery and I don't normally do mysteries. But I thought it's Christmas. It's not very big. It's not very expensive. So I... Uh, I went for it, I got the five parts in my inbox each week and then when I got, we got to part five and it was complete, I deleted the other files and just kept this and put it into Pattern Keeper. So I started this one on Wednesday night and here is how far I've got. There is some backstitch on it, which obviously um, Pattern Keeper doesn't record or show, I should say. So my and in there has got to be backstitched in and there's other bits and pieces around and about on it. This is 32 count Ivory Murano. I am using the called for DMCs. Started it on the 10th of July, so that would be Wednesday, wouldn't it? Yeah. But the boxes, as well as bits, so what I haven't done in here is the white, and the boxes are supposed to be done in white. Well, I did start the boxes in white, and I done this oh, I think I've done this side and I really wasn't happy with how the white was lying so I've switched for just for the boxes I've switched it to 762 but that is my progress so far my needle minder is one from Caterpillar Cross Stitch I can't remember sometime back end of last year I think they did a pay the postage I think it was get a free minder I think I can't remember I slept since then and I've just realized in showing that that what I haven't done is made a note of the number of stitches I've done so just bear with me a second and I will bring that up for you because it's already on Pattern Keeper. 
It's a very easy pad to use, this is. And that's great, which is exactly what I wanted. So as you can see, I'll show you. I've got a fair few patterns on there. When I come to work on this, which is my, obviously the Quaker flag, I've got something to tell you about that, which I discovered when I transferred it to this, but we'll find that out another day. That that one there, that is my one and only Hayde. And like I say, a couple of artisy freebies, that's June's freebie, that's July's freebie. Oh, if, I don't, if I don't download them, if I don't like them. But anyway, there's my Merry and Bright. So I have done... Hang on, I'll have to put my glasses on, sorry. Can't read that without them. I have done 703 stitches of 5,196, which is 13.53%. That's not bad progress, is it, for four nights? It would have been more, obviously, had I not had to frog the white out and restitch it. I am enjoying it, and I will more than likely work on it again this, this next week. Put the paper over there. Put that over there. On to my PhDs. So, in no particular order, as ever, I've worked on gathering honey. This is my first adventure with 45 count linen and I have nearly completed the bird. Oh no, sorry, I have completed the bird It's because I've got hanging thread. I've always got a hanging thread, it doesn't bother me. So I've completed the bird. I think he had one evening on him. I can't work on him that much with him being 45 count. It is a bit of a struggle at times. Depends what kind of day I've had. You know, if it's been a busy day, I've had the boys and I'm too tired for 40. There's no way I could see 45 count on a day like that. But also the light. It needs to be decent lighting for me to be able to see it. And when it gets to sort of half eight, nine o'clock most of the night, it's too dark for me to see him. So I have to put my light on, which is that, that red thing there. So, but I'm happy with it. It's, it's turning out nice. And I am using, I nearly forgot, I am using a dinky dye silk. I've just had a root in my stash for something honeyish in colour. So I'm using Dinky Dye Silk number 113 Cobar. It is a lovely warm honey colour. Well, I'm plodding on with it. It'll be done by the end of the year. That's for certain. I was back to having the boys. I've had this last Monday. I've had three weeks off because they were on holiday. One one week they were actually away, one week they were flying out, the following week they were flying home. And I didn't have a love quilt square on the go to take with me to work while on while I was with them. So I pulled out the rocket ship. You might remember if you've been around for a while or watching me for a while, I was working on this last year for a quilt and realized i was not going to get it finished for the deadline so pulled out and decided i would work on it at some point as to, as a any child square so the first thing i did was finish off the top of the rocket up here and then i've moved down here to what the uh, the boys have lovingly well, lovingly or just referred to as the blast off bit because it's a rocket, so it's the blast off bit of the rocket. So I will be working on that a little bit more. It would be nice to get it ticked off the list. I'm very much wanting to get things finished at the minute. Don't really want to start anything new. One of the groups I'm in 
um, coffee break stitchers are having a stash dive weekend so you go and have a route around your stash find something and start it and I'm like I don't really want to I don't know what's at uh, the minute I'm just I'm a bit me there's a the Cheshire Stitches are having a visit to Create Nostalgia next week and I'm not going because I just I don't want to buy anything I'm just not in the, the mood to buy stuff. Although having said that, I have ordered the sulky for something I am going to start, but I'll tell you about that in a bit. Back to the PhDs. I have, as ever, been working on my commission piece. I've done a lot around here. I've come down a little bit, I think one or two areas, I think maybe here I've encroached onto the next two pages. Once I get past this, I am onto the last two A3 pages of it. And there's a lot of blocks in that. So I'm hoping it'll go a bit quicker, especially it starts here. There's a big chunk here in this, this area all around here of skin now I don't like doing faces you know that I've told you that plenty of times but I'm thinking if I get on if I can crack on with that that face color that'll get me quite a good chunk of it done so I will probably end up doing that I've got I've taped my two pages together and I've got two two ten by 10 by 10 blocks long but w wide but the width of the two a4 sheets if that makes no not a4 a3 sheets if that makes sense with a little bit on odd bits and pieces on top which is kind of this here so i'm hoping by the end of july that i can have done all of this started on this but once I get down to just having the two 10 by 10 blocks wide, I can then attach those to the the piece, the pages underneath, the two A3s underneath, so that I'm not gonna end up with lines, you know, page where, page breaks. I can just, like with this, because I know that this, this skin color here, I know that works on down into the following pages. So I can get stuck in and get that done. I haven't done that green line like I said I was going to do. I've been concentrating on this area. So I will be getting that done and getting another thousand stitches in on her this week. I'm well over halfway there. If I can get that thousand finished and then if I sort of make a start on this, I'd like to try and get like at least 3000 stitches in this month which most months I, I get between 10 and 12,000 stitches in in a month. So that's like a third quarter, quarter of my stitches for the month. I will probably end up working on her an evening or so a week just to move her along a bit quicker because I've been working on her for 12 months now and I'm fed up with it. It's worth it and it'll pay for retreats next year when I go. I've also been, I've pulled out a couple of times my giraffes. I was at Cheshire Stitches yesterday and decided that this would be, this is an, this is an ideal project for working on there because the light can be a bit hit and miss. When it was, when we got there, it was quite bright. Then it went dark because it started raining. You know, summer in England, of course, it's going to rain. So it went quite dull, but I could still work on it because it's on a 28 count and it's blocks. So here's my progress on this. It's, had, it's also had an evening or two. I think last time I showed it to you, I had... I still had a gap on this ear, I think. 
and I certainly didn't have the horns because I know yesterday I did this orange here I did the yellow there and I did the center of this horn and then I started on the black outlining around these two horns and I'll come up so that's where I am at the minute so as ever dangling thread I will work on this a bit more over the next week or two. If I haven't finished it by Yorkshire Stitches, I'll be taking it to Yorkshire Stitches with me. That's on the 27th, so it's the day before I next record a video. So even if he doesn't get touched before, then there will be progress on him. I w it's another one of them ones, I want it finished. It's not that old. I started it 1st of January, 22. And I bought the kit as a kit of the week from Cotton Crafts, Cotton, Cotton Club Crafts, which if you haven't ordered from them, you should. They are great. They are fast. And to me, they're a local business. They're less than five miles from my door. But you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't think that one time I ordered something from them and say less than five miles from my door. And it took over a week to arrive. So, couldn't believe it. Over a week. Because it doesn't come into my local sorting office anymore. It has to go to a hub. So it goes from them to Warrington, I think. To be sorted to come back to Northwich. Which is a bit stupid, you know. Supposedly streamlining, but it doesn't work. So yeah, it took a week over a week for something to arrive it wasn't this this when i ordered this i ordered it and i well, i started at 22 so it would have been 21 it was a kit of the week as i said i ordered it say i ordered it on a tuesday it was here on the wednesday morning you know when we had decent postal service all over now it's rubbish everywhere and I happen to know that if my post lady is off, we get no post. So if she has a fortnight's holiday, when she comes back, we can get three weeks worth of post in one go. Which is difficult for her because she has to sort it all out and push it around and get it delivered. And, and it's not her fault, but she's the one that takes the flat, which is a shame. Next up, I have been working on one of the loves of my stitching life which is Tana's Ranges. as ever hanging thread I was working on it last night last time you saw this I was part way along this row and I am now on row 24 so I've done the top line of row 24 and as you can see I'm part way along there's another line underneath it. If I can get 24 finished later today when I've finished recording I'll be back stitching on her. If I can get 24 finished and 25 started I'll be happy. I am using a variety of red silks from Stash they are looking a lot brighter than they actually are one second there we go that's better there's all sorts in here this is a thread gatherer um this i haven't used and i probably won't actually because i think it's a bit a bit out of place is a steph francis but there's um there's mpis there's a Gloriana that Jeanette gave me for my birthday in here. The Silk Mori, which I will not be using again. It is awful. And at the moment, the thread I'm, the white, well, thread, I say thread, it's silk. The silk I'm using is this one, which is Vicky Clayton, who I now believe is, goes under hand dyed fibers turkey red but that's that's the one i'm using for band 24. i'm loving it absolutely love it now 
I mentioned before about I'd ordered a sulky pack. They have a summer stitch along, which the first chart of which was released last night. And I did look it up and I cannot remember it, but it is the summer stitch along and it's a, a Talia so so ID. I can never say that. I do apologise. I'm I can't just I can't get my mouth around it. Anyway, I'll put a link down to it below. Um I ordered the sulky pack from them. I ordered it on Wednesday. Yeah, I know, last minute. It suddenly struck me. I, I, I looked and I thought, I'll see how much it's going to cost and what the postage is going to be like. So I ordered it Wednesday and it was dispatched on Friday. And yesterday I got a message, uh, um, an email from Royal Mail to say that they've had notification that it's on its way. So I'm kind of hoping that tomorrow I'll get the, the the email off the Royal Mail to say we've got it and we'll be delivering it. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping that in a few days time it will have arrived and I can make a start on it. As I say, I'll put a link down to it below for you. It's... Um, I think it's 196 square and it's a sampler so I will make sure that I have well by next time I'll have it started I'm going to try and keep up with it I can't promise that I will depends how complicated each part is but I will I will make an effort to, to keep up to date with it my general plan is to work on it on a Monday evening when I get home from having the boys because I tend to be too tired to do anything complicated. So, and so I, I know I'm on a tangent again, I do apologise. I've got two more projects left. I have done some more on that. You might remember I bought this at the Nimble Thimble. Cost me an arm and a leg and maybe a bit of my spleen as well. I, could, I can't say two arms because I won't be able to stitch it. But I, I, um, my partner doesn't know what it cost. But I was determined I was going to get it started. And I, at Cheshire Stitches yesterday, I'm like, I've started it. Because uh, Susanna was uh, sat next to me, and she was the uh, one of the the encouragers, shall we say, for me to 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 buy it. So, and I I had said that she could tell me off if I hadn't started it, but I had, obviously. So, I showed my partner this and said, "Don't pick that." I covered the sample up. I said, "I want to do that last." pick anything else and pointed to all of this and he picked the pin cube so I've been working on that again it's one of those things I can only do it when I'm not really tired in an evening because it's it's 32 count which is not a problem but there is a but this is all over one and it can be a bit hard going so last time you saw it i had done that and part of that so i've finished off that loop i've started that loop and i've done that little bit in the middle i just wanted to change from the um the variegated thread my general plan is now that i've done a length of the silk the over one i'm going to move to one of these these blocks and do a length I'm going to alternate between the two basically because over one can be hard going as you know as you'll know not as hard as it is on all the counts this is 32 count uh it's a very pale yellow it's called ray of light it's a belfast linen from zweigart whether or not you can still get it i have no idea oh, it's on my little my little diddy scroll frame and last time around i hadn't got it prepared ready to show you i hadn't unscrolled it so you could see this but you don't need to see this you saw this last time this is the bit i'm working on 
so that's that's the bit you need to see so again next time round there will be more on it I know I've only just started it but I've kind of generally got it in the back of my mind that it would be nice to have it finished for the Wrexham retreat next year at the end of May beginning of June whether or not I'll do that I don't know if I can if I can get it where I've got quite a few bits done so this is one of the bigger smalls bring this back it's one of the bigger smalls so which is that you've got the needle book which is all bargello which is basically long stitch and then you've got scissor fobs there's two little scissor fobs well they're they're, they're not going to take me long to do so they're going to be reasonably quick you've got a scissor pocket again reasonably quick to stitch a pin cushion reasonably quick to stitch this is what's going to take the time so but i am i am enjoying it thoroughly enjoying it when i if you remember last time i said the following day i was doing a display at the beads shop but not bead shop next town over there was an art display and my beading group was having a table I did put a video on Instagram of it and I never thought to upload it as a YouTube short so I will get that done so you can have a look at the, the range of work that you can do. It wasn't uh, trying to get members, it wasn't to try and sell stuff, it was so that people are educated because if you say beading to people they tend to think of stringing and it's not. And bead weaving it just goes completely over people's heads so anyway that was a tangent but the whole reason for saying that was the artists were selling things and one of them had organic lavender in bags and I bought there were, there were three bags for two pound I should have grabbed one to show you but never mind and my thought was I could put it in the pincushion I probably won't bother with the cube, but I can certainly put it in the pin cushion. But that's why I went off on a tangent about that. I do apologise if, you know, you're like, why are you rambling, you silly woman? But yeah, so I can put some in there. I'll make a little bag out of scraps to put it in because obviously I don't want it to bleed through to the front. And whilst I'm still rabbiting on about it, that's the silks for it. There's all sorts in there. There's there's Gloriana's. There's um, MPI's. Gloriana. Gloriana. And there was one I can't remember. Belsoir. There's Belsoirs in there as well. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful colours to work with. I'm trying to find the one that the... There, oh, it's that one there. It doesn't really show up very well in the stitching. But this... This is what the oval one is done in. For the... The oval one on the pink you is done in that. So, it doesn't, like I say, it doesn't really show, but it's lovely, it's such a nice one, that is blue, bluegrass from Gloriana. Last project, Nova, I am behind on it, but it's, it's not the end of the world, I know I know I said two and a half squares a week to get it finished for June 26. But that's not going to be a problem. It's once I work on it, I don't want to stop working on it. So although I'm, a, I'm, I'm probably about four squares behind, it won't take me long to actually catch up on it once I actually get stuck in working on it, which I tend to do on a Sunday morning. And here we are. We get to 
I did not see my ugly mug again. Last time I had finished up to here. So I've done this one. And I've done these two. And I've started on this one. I've got a few more stitches to fill in on there. That one is just going to be like this. Full of half of ten stitch. Pardon me. And it's... It's in 7.38 and it's, I just haven't got round to pulling the skein out to get it, to get it going. So, next time you see it, in a fortnight, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll have this row finished. That's not going to take much longer to do. That's another couple of colours and they are half stitches and you, you're done. That's an Alicia, Alicia stitch variation that one I really enjoyed that one that was a lovely square to do that one and then I've got a one of these this one there yeah. I've got one of those to do but they run vertically in shades of blue so that one that's next and I can't remember what the other two are but I'm looking forward to getting this one finished because I am really looking forward to doing that one. It's really simple, straightforward stitches. There's nothing complicated in it. But it's just, it's so enjoyable. So enjoyable. Like I say, when I do work on it, I don't want to stop working on it. So, it um, it won't take me long. And if I, if I whiz away and go it finished and end up leaving the last square to finish whilst we're on the retreat, in 2026 that's fine i do have a backup plan as you know as you voted for which was the crimson crimson poppies which is the one i was leaning towards anyway so um but that may well come out to play at some point in the future anyway right that's it i'm done it's nothing else just double check my notes i've done that i've told you about that told you about changing the colour of the boxes. Oh, Tana. Fabric. I forgot to tell you what the fabric was. It's 40 count Vidal from Zweigart, which is an even weave. So. And I have got a thought. I know, I shouldn't do that because it's not good for you. Thinking really, it's not a good thing. Um about how to record all the different threads that I've used in it. I do have a book, but obviously I can't put that in with the, the, sti the stitching. So I do I do have a, um, a thought about what I can do about that. I shall I hold it that way. I had to unroll it, as you can see, so I could show you. So I was a bit further up. Like I say, there you go so yeah i do i do have a record of each and every color that i've used what what row i've used it on and i have a an idea of of how to incorporate that so there we go right so i do apologize for forgetting that that's made that video a bit longer than normal i didn't think i had that much to wrap it about today so excuse me There we go. I'm done. So as I say, next one will be the 28th of July. Until then, keep stitching. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed that we'll get some decent weather at last. And we can actually have a summer. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon. Bye.